one night stand today. You can handwrite shit, you can typewrite shit, you can, that's happened the only other time you did this. Take ink and white out, put it in your mouth, and stick it on the paper, and screw it around your fingers. Whatever the hell that you want to do. And then, so we're talking about handwriting, we're talking about typewriting, we're talking about using any of the magazines or books that are here and maybe cutting out individual words or something and rearranging them, doing whatever you want. Well, we, uh, we got together to do a zine and we broke up into a couple groups. And I can tell you what my group is doing. Um, we're, we're kind of competing, so uh, I can't, I'm not really gonna talk about the other team yet. It gives us an opportunity to basically write anything we want, cover anything we want, be a journalist in any way that we want to be. Um, hopefully everyone allows themselves to speak and write freely and doesn't keep them from doing something that they can't do anywhere else. I mean, that's the whole point of this project, is to get feelings and emotions out that you wouldn't be able to express any other way. But so, so we got together and we don't really know each other. So the first thing we had to do was kind of say our names and where we work and what our favorite um, communicable disease is, because that is always a great icebreaker. The first stage is always the sort of self-absorbed loner phase, which is I'm gonna like write something. And writing is not a collaborative process. So people writing that they do solitary. And then I was worried that they wouldn't get back together and put it all together, but they did. I mean, it's really interesting watching everyone talk to each other and help each other out. Because that's one thing that's been lost in newsrooms. Computers are awesome, I love them, I make my living off of them, but the fact is that there's no more collaborative effort. This was actually how newspapers, college newspapers anyway, or magazines used to run. I mean, you would kind of, because you couldn't work at home, you had to work on these big flats, and you would all get around and go, I think that's stupid, move, can you move that over? And there was at least talking, and there isn't that anymore. So this is, I'm glad that that happened here. Once again, I'm put in a situation that's uncomfortable and uh, unyielding, and I have to come up with a solution for it. It's been a long time since I've worked on one, but it gives you a sense of accomplishment with every key you press. That's the best thing about it. Like clack. <laughs> I, had to, I had to fix the, uh, the typewriters because the ribbons kept coming off of them, and apparently no one here has ever worked with a typewriter before. So it's, Koretsky, it's not working. I don't know what to do. So I had to fix the ribbons. How do you like that laptop? Yeah, I get a, I got a lot of like, uh, how do I go to the next line? You hit the little return thing and there's no number one, that's an L, that's fucked up, but that's the way it is. The, exper the experience kind of speaks for itself. Look, pretty much awesome. Being an intern, I, it's really intimidating coming here by myself and not really knowing what to expect, but um, yeah, journalism, it seems like a really scary field to go into but uh, with, more, with more things like this, I just learned it can, it can be whatever you want. Uh, you know, there's been some contention between us and the other, you know, zine. Uh, so we thought it would be appropriate to write a piece explaining why uh, we are better. It's titled, Why We Are Better. Both of these zines look completely different. The zines are completely different size. One is half the size of the other, and they didn't, they didn't talk to each other. Um, one is much more artsy and uh, delicate and layered, and the other is pretty much like strong images in your face. Um, both have similar, like both have cartoons, but like one cartoon is, you know, a little classier. The other one, which is uh, Zombie Jesus, and something about anal sex. I didn't read the whole thing. I think South Florida SPJ, we're lucky that we have people who they love journalism. I mean, it's genuine, like passion for what we're doing and to me that's what makes it different it's the people um, you know we don't just sit and have like normal meetings I mean we're sitting here having an event right now and we rented out hotel rooms so you know it's it's different it's fun it gives you a chance to kind of maybe do things that you wouldn't really do I think journalists are at the forefront of information that's the way most people get their news uh, no one else goes out there and does the work for you except for a journalist so if you want to hear the truth and you want to hear things that you can't hear anywhere else, you need to rely on someone else to do the work for you. And journalists are the ones that bring that information to you. Hopefully this event will inspire other people to find a creative outlet outside of just writing a column or just taking photographs, incorporating as many different artistic inputs as possible in order to get 
information out that they feel inside or that they think is going to help someone else. Yeah, it'll, it'll help me as a journalist because I hadn't, uh, I wasn't used to thinking it out of the box before, but now since I was thinking of my own material and coming up with it, producing it completely, start to finish, I think it'll help, it'll help me a lot think in different ways outside of just typical writing a story. Yeah. So I'm really, I'm really happy. My question is going to be, what happens now? Do we take this, do we take this project and will it ever be repeated? Will this ever happen again? Oh, it would better be. I hope so. <laughs> because a lot of the projects we do, um, when we try to get other people to do them, they usually respond with one word, and that word is, ew. <laughs> <laughs>